Hey team, my name is Mad Max and welcome to my sewing channel. On today's episode, episode 4, um, I'm going to stick with the 70s train and I'm going to be attempting these velvet flares that I found on Pinterest. I think they go really well with the wrap top that I made. They probably even go well with this, this sleeve top or corset or so many options to pair them with. I'm really excited. Um, I don't have a pattern for these, so I am going to just use my pattern block that I already have for my flared pants and then try to do some alterations um, to slim it down on the thigh and then have that flare come out. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the waistband. Um, I've never sewn with velvet before, but I read something last night that you, you shouldn't put a zip in um, and just go for a stretchy waistband, but I'm not sure if that if the fabric will have enough stretch to go over my hips um i'm not sure but this will be the video of me trying to draft my own 1970s flare velvet pants so if that's something you're interested in keep watching please like and subscribe at the end of the video <laughs> i really appreciate it and yeah let's get into the video just done is I copied out my original pants block that I had for the flared pants and these lines out here are where the original flares were and then what I did is I folded in half a pair of capri pants that fit me really well in a stretch fabric and I outlined where they fit amongst where the crotch seam was on the original flares and then I added on a 1.5 seam allowance right around it and I measured it out where my knee line is because I want my flare to come out from the knee and then I just fiddled around with the waistband 
I'm still not 100% what I'm going to do for the waistband. I've got this elastic um, so I could just fold that over in a casing down here. I mean that is the original um, top of the pants anyway for the pants that have interfacing rather than a waistband so they would still be pretty high waisted um, considering that this is the waistline of the blue capri pants that I was wearing. Um, I thought it's better to add on more than need to take it away anyway. So now what I need to do is on this portion measure out my flare from the knee line. Right, so I added on some flares onto the bottom of the pants and cut out these pattern pieces. Now I just need to do a little bit of research on the best way to actually stitch velvet and then once I've done that I will cut out the pattern pieces. Okay, so now we have two matching fronts and two matching backs. I've marked the front with blue chalk so that I don't get the front and the back mixed up. Now what I need to do is join the front to the back at the centre seam. So I'm just going to run this through the overlocker so I'm not going to pin. Please pray for me. the two pieces that are left over doing a U seam rolling crotch. Now here's one of my favourite tips for doing the next part. So once you've got your girl with your crotch done, and mine looks huge because I've got mine quite high waisted at the moment, um, what you do is you just flip it wrong sides together. So then you've got it looking like this. And then all you do is flip the open seams right sides together and then this is your pant um, so I'm just going to run these edges through the overlocker and then I'll try them on and see for size
make a waistband, what I've done is I've just attached some elastic on the inside. I need to do a top stitch where all these pins are holding it in place. I've got a little bit of gaping in the back. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that. That's a tomorrow problem. But, um... Ooh. So while I was researching how to actually stitch velvet because I wanted to know how to do the waistband, um, I actually found this old worksheet from high school <laughs> teaching you all the different um, types of fabrics and the needles and the threads and the stitch lengths and presser foots and all of that. So I'm going to change my needle to a stretch 7511 as it said. Um, I've already done all my vertical seams on the overlocker, so I'm going to do a straight stitch by 3mm. Um, I'm not going to change my walking foot, I think my walking foot that I've got will be fine. So I'm just going to get on to doing the waistband and then I need to hem them and they should be good to go. overlocking and I've added some pins just to try and get that fit as good as possible there's quite a few down the, th down the thigh to get a nice fit on the thigh I've done it on both sides I've tried to hem the bottom of this pant to make it a little bit more even but it's definitely going to take some work and I've top stitched down this elastic so it's not gaping so bad in the back but I am going to still take it in on the sides a wee bit. But yeah, I'm just going to try and get the fit right now. Right off camera, I have just hemmed the bottom of the pant. They were originally overlocked the whole way round, but I had some excess fabric that I had to cut off. Um, but I've done a double row of stitching, 1.5 and edge stitch or whatever. Um, so these aren't the tidiest pants construction wise um, when I remake them again in the future that will definitely be a lot tidier but so far like I'm pretty happy we've got an elastic waistband on the top um, I've taken them in on the thigh so we've got more of a, a flare down the bottom I need a good lint roll um, but I think that these are pretty much ready now so that's awesome 